Hey everyone, I'm Remy and we're at the Red Hat Tower and I'm going to show you an inside scoop of what's new with Red Hat Ansible Automation Platform 2.6. Follow me. The latest Ansible Automation Platform 2.6 release delivers new features, platform enhancements, and strategic integrations so that you can continue to build a resilient and trusted foundation for your IT operations. In this release, you'll be able to unlock more value with the automation dashboard. You'll be able to operate more efficiently with the Ansible Lightspeed Intelligent Assistant and achieve new levels of scale with the new self-service automation portal. All right, you've heard the elevator pitch. Let's go see this in action. Follow me. Hey, Sean, can you demo some of the new features from the Ansible Automation Platform 2.6 release for us? Absolutely. So first up is the Automation Dashboard Utility. This is a new feature capability that allow you to monitor, track, and report on value, or your ROI for Ansible Automation Platform. This will allow you to easily track key metrics like time savings, job success, and return on investment. You'll have the data you need to prove the value of your automation investment and share successes with key stakeholders. This is deployed on-premises, ensuring that data remains secure within your environment. It also allows you to generate customizable PDF reports for stakeholders and export raw data to a CSV for ingestion and your personal preferred BI tools, providing flexible options for demonstrating value. That's so cool. I love how easy the automation dashboard makes it for you to share the impact of your automation. All right. Now, what can you tell me about Ansible Lightspeed? Yes, so Ansible Lightspeed has some new awesome capabilities. Some people might be familiar with Ansible Lightspeed Code Assistant, which has existed for some time now. For those who have not heard about it before, it is an AI capability embedded into Visual Studio Code to help people write and explain automation content. This lowers the friction for people new to Ansible to easily write automation content. That was a great refresher on the Coding Assistant. What can you tell me about the Intelligent Assistant? Yes, yeah, so Ansible Lightspeed Intelligent Assistant is the new cool stuff. It's a capability for the persona of an operator or someone who's using Ansible Automation Platform. This includes an intuitive chat interface embedded directly into Ansible Automation Platform web UI. It will help with contextual support for faster troubleshooting, platform onboarding, and the day-to-day -day management of automation. It also will include links to references and resources for source validation and accelerated learning. And remind me really quick, does this require a cloud service? No, that's what's really cool. You can deploy this completely on-premises. The backend can be any Red Hat AI solution, including Red Hat AI Inference Server, RHEL AI, or Red Hat OpenShift AI. We can even support third-party models for OpenAI, Azure OpenAI, and IBM Watson X AI. That's awesome. Now, what can you tell me about the self-service automation portal? Yeah, so the new self-service automation portal empowers admins to provide a streamlined, point-and-click Ansible automation experience to a broader set of users within the organization. Domain subject matter experts who aren't necessarily Ansible experts now have a dedicated self-service portal from which they can launch a range of automation jobs for core use cases without needing full access to AAP. Some of the really cool features include smart forms and guided workflows. Smart forms can provide real-time field validation, conditional and dynamic forms, and drop-down fields for Ansible Automation Platform artifacts, such as inventories. Okay, so we covered all the new features. What about the platform enhancements and strategic integrations? Yes, this release also comes with event-driven Ansible enhancements, a refreshed user interface, and an AI-assisted inventory generator. Ansible Automation Platform is powerful on its own, but it really shines through its integrations. Red Hat continues to expand the ecosystem with over 80 certified partners and more than 200 certified integrations. That includes fresh content for Cisco Meraki, HashiCorp, Splunk, and many more. Okay, cut to the chase. How do I download this thing? Yeah, so there are three key places I recommend. First is our new solution guides, practical resources that walk you through real-world use cases step-by-step. Step. Second, our updated 2.6 documentation, easier to navigate with fresh content to help you go deeper. And third, the software downloads page where you can grab the latest bits and get started right away. Sean, thanks so much for all the info. I'm gonna go automate something right now. Heck yeah, me too.